happening uh, today's mastermind mentorship training. You know, for those who started immediately, who started on time, you were promised to mastermind mentorship. And it happens on Mondays and sometimes we have it on Tuesdays as well. So please don't miss it next time or make sure all your people are here. Now, I'm going to start by asking very simple questions before I jump into my, my um, focus for today. How were the weekend activities? I uh, like our responses in the comments. Section. How were the weekend activities? How many people saw the presentation through you? How were the weekend activities this weekend? How many people saw the presentation through you? How many people do you say you invited? Let's even leave invites. I want you to go to comments and type, oh, this weekend I had 10 people. I had five people. I had 20 people that attended presentation. Both uh, Saturday presentation, Sunday presentation, any type of, anyone, whether it was physical, or it was on Zoom, or it was the way we played a video. How many people do you have that attended presentation? I would like to know in the comments how many people I had 20, I had 30, I had 40, I had 50. You know, because at the end of the day, that's that's the income producing activities. Okay, that's actually the, the activity that's going to bring money. Every other thing is just a uh, secondary round around. The one that is going to bring money is how many people are seeing the business. The more people that see the business, the more results we're going to get. If we have a lot of people seeing the business, we're going to have a lot of results. It's as simple as that. So how many people saw it? Okay, someone says 15, okay. Okay, no, Mustafa, 15. Okay, someone says four. Tolu says four. Okay, someone says five. Taiwo says five. Okay, four. Okay, five. Somebody says 70. Wow. Honorable Chima, 70. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's good. 70 people saw the presentation. Confirm, oh, 70 people saw the presentation. I love that. Okay, somebody says 11. Okay, mine was fantastic. That's nice. Five, six. Okay, so the average I'm seeing here, I'm seeing five, six, five, six, four. 11 or some five. I need our responses. And I'm also doing this so that those who are not inviting, you know that people are inviting, you know, many man, give me a number. Even if you don't know the, but you should know the exact number, actually. You should know the exact number. Except, except your team is very large. Eh? But if your team is not, so you should know the exact number, okay? So someone says 15, okay? I think the highest I've seen so far is 70, okay? Quick, quick, quick. I want more responses. Okay, Mercy, 31 codes, 31 people and five codes generated. Okay, that's good. I like that. It's very specific. 31 people and five codes were generated between Saturday and Sunday. That's good. That's good. Okay, more responses. Gladys, 11. Okay, so we can we can stop responding in the next two minutes, but I want all our responses quickly, quickly. I know why I'm asking. 26 on Saturday and 12 on Sunday, okay? 26 on Saturday, 12 on Sunday. That's still fine. Uh, What else have I seen? Six, six, three, ten, eight, eleven, four. Okay, okay. Now, those of us that have zero, are we seeing that people are inviting? <laughs> people are inviting. You know, the fact that you're not inviting doesn't mean that people are inviting. And that is the business. That's the business. Getting people to see, to attend presentation, that is the business. That's the business. Every other thing is 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 in a is a, is to support the ministry of getting people to see the business. Okay? Someone says I showed 140 people 140 participants in a grow in a grow the video. Huh? 140 participants in a grow the video. Okay, your leader will have to confirm. I have to confirm that from your leader, Mr. Damian. So, so 140 people. So Damian, you have to confirm if he showed 140 people the business, okay? All right, so I'm going to I'm going to stop the I'm going to stop getting feedback from here. So right now, the two people who had the most, we have uh, Honorable Chima said he did 70. And then we have uh, Mr. Stanley said he did 140, that he showed 140 people in a grow video. I don't know what that what grow video means. So I'll have to, con I know both of them, I know their leaders. I have to confirm, I have to see evidence and proof. But uh, whoever whoever is the highest has, has won themselves 10,000 this morning. So go and congratulate whoever, I don't know who it is though. And uh, whether, whether it is Honorable Chima, because I have to see evidence, you know? I don't want anybody to be explaining to me. Mm -mm. I would like to see evidence. If you, attend, if you uh, uh, call the certain number, let me see the attendance, let me see the booklet, let me see the proof. If I don't see proof, it's not. I will not take hearsay. Mm -hmm. I, won't, I won't take hearsay, okay? So whoever whoever is the person, whether it's the, uh, among the two of them, has won themselves 10,000 naira from Ambassador this morning. For the rest of us, please don't go and say book massively. Now say so that next week you wait for your own 10,000. 
<laughs> but I'm just saying this to encourage you and make it a bit fun. But guys, income producing activities is when you're inviting massively. It's when you're inviting massively and you're definitely going to get it. So as we're going into this week, today's Monday, let us invite massively. Don't wait for just weekends, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. We have presentations happening every day, both in the offices and on Zoom. Please be taking advantage. Now, I want to I want to give us a little, get, get us a little excited because some people are saying, ah, today is already 18th. Oh, the year is about to end, 18th. Oh, after 18th, 19th, then we've entered 20th. Then it, it, mm -mm. what do I do? No, 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 no. And I'm happy that Ambassador Lola actually started, touched a bit of this when she was doing her, 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 her part of the meeting, where she was saying, how many days do we have? And uh, some people said 12, some said 11, some said 10. I'm like, ah, ah, it's mathematics, you know? Some said the highest I saw was 13. But it's actually 14. We actually have 14 full days before the end of the year. Are we aware of that? 14 full days. If you check, today is 18th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, like that, like that, up to 31st. That's 14 full days, guys. A lot can happen in 14 full days. Some of you that are not married yet, in these 14 days, you will meet your future husband in these 14 days. Some of you are going to meet your future wife in these 14 days. Some of you are going to meet your diamond, your ego, the person that will come into your business and lock hands with you and run the business with you and both of you will be successful together in these 14 days. Some of you, ah, Ambassador, I've only made 100K this month. In these 14 days, if you do what I'm going to teach you today, you can make up to a million dollars in these 14 days. A lot can happen in these 14 days. Don't allow anybody deceive you that, oh, the, 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 the days are few where we're almost done with the year. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. People that are packing, people that are packing hampers, people that are making gifts, Christmas gifts and all, selling Christmas tree. All the money they did not make this year is this month they are going to make it. And that's, and I'm trying to change that kind of mindset you're supposed to have. This month of December, you're going to get everything. So 14 full days. So I want you to know, so 14 days is how many weeks? Go to the comments and tell me. 14 days is how many weeks? It's how many weeks? Two weeks. Oh, Ambassador Maya, the code generation. I will go for I will go for, for, for the month as a team. I will go for the month as a team. If for us to, to, to uh, generate a total of 50 codes. Oh, I will go for the month to generate a total of 100 codes. I will go generate 120 codes, 80 codes, 90 codes, or 250 codes, 300 codes. Oh, Ambassador, are you sure that we can do it? You have two weeks, guys. I learned it was during my first, my first uh, when uh, when I had my, my daughter that I learned that. A month is actually not four weeks like that. Because when they are counting, I'm like, ah, I'm counting the month. It's actually, pregnancy is actually 40 weeks. Now, if you want to use what they taught us in school, 40 weeks is 10 months, Sabi. But then doctors say nine months. So I realized, and it helped my business, that four weeks is just 28 days. But the only month that is 28 days is February. So it means that even after four weeks is gone in a month, I still have sometimes four more days, three more days to hit my goals. Do we understand that? So uh, despite the fact that today is 18th of the month, if we have 14 days and that is two full weeks, I'm trying to help because if you believe that there's no time, then there will be no time for you. In this December, that people are coming now. Some people are inviting 140. Some people are showing 70. In this same, this same meeting that some people are showing only four. Some people are showing only five. Some are showing two. Some are showing 10. Some people are showing 70. Some are showing 140. You can see that. You, are, you will now begin to ask yourself, Ambassador, is it the same business that I'm doing that this person is doing? Is it the same? Because how can I be inviting? How can I have only five people that came for business? Now, guess what? The challenges that you have, Oh, some people are not coming. Oh, people are not showing up. Oh, transportation. Oh, economy. Those people that have 70 to 140 people coming for presentation, they have the same challenges. They have the same issues. But why do they have more people? They did a larger number. So I want you to decide that these 14 full days will be the best 14 days you have had in the year 2023. Some of you are going to become king's men in these 14 days. Some of you are going to become active APs, active kingsmen. Some of you are going to become wealth connectors. Ambassador, I've not generated any code. You can still end December as a wealth connector. That is the truth. So how far have you gone with your 90 days game plan? You know me, I don't just like training, 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 training. I want, I want to get feedback. So from the feedback I've gotten this morning, how many people invited? Less than uh, 60 people responded. 
when I was going through the chat, less than six people responded. Oh, I invited 10, I invited five, I invited eight, I invited 20. Less than 60 people responded. What does it mean? That's about maybe 10% of the people in this meeting responded. It means that the other 90% are not inviting. They are not inviting. But after this meeting, you're going to be inviting. You're going to show people the business. I taught us last week, Monday, about what we need to do this period. I don't want to repeat myself. I said, we're going to, apart from the physical presence, we're going to be using Zoom. I told you guys four ways to invite. I said, we're going to be using Zoom a lot. A lot this period. We're going to be using what? The booklets to show the business. We're going to be using what? Videos to show the business. And I showed you, told you different videos that we have. Then finally, I said, we're going to be drawing circles. I said, these are the four ways we're going to be showing people the business without even them coming physically. Meaning that even if it's not a physical, maybe I'm, also, I'm traveling for Christmas. Some of you are traveling. No problem. But with these things that I've taught you, you can get people to see the business and join the business. Let's say somebody here is from, let's say, uh, Mbano, for example. Guess what? And you're going for Christmas. You can raise a team in Mbano this December. You can show them. They join. You do QSG for them. You do IPO for them. You do presentation. They begin to get, before you leave, before you leave there by new year or by end of the year, you have 10 people there. You've started a team. Before you know it, February, March, you've opened an office. That's how things happen, oh, guys. It doesn't have to be in your comfort zone. But it depends on if you're thinking and happening. So how far have you gone with your 90 days game plan? Go to the comments and tell me, how far? Have you, you know me, I like feedback. <laughs> how far have you gone with your 90 days game plan? Are you running the 90 days game plan? Or this heavenly race of 90 days game plan is not your business. Are you running the 90 days game plan? Our goal is that in 90 days, you have 36 codes on five legs. Are you running the game plan? Are you focusing on that? Are you trying to hit it? Guys, how far have you gone? Have you drawn your, oh, hey, hey, God, have you drawn your DTC? Do you know the five legs you're working with? Are you adding, if people are joining your team, are you adding, oh, two codes on this leg, five codes on the, 10 codes on this leg? Are you checking? Remember, I told you that anybody who is very, very serious and very active, on the five legs, you have 12, 12, 12 in each 30 days. That should be your goal mentally. I want to have 12 here, 12 here in each 30 days. Are we doing it, guys? This is more like a wake-up call. I'm going to, like I said, my main topic for today is how to handle inactivity, and I'm going to go into that in the next two minutes. But I want to just make sure that we are doing, we are doing what we are learning. How far have we gone with the 90 days? How many codes have we generated? How much have we made? The goal is to make one million naira. Is one million naira or nothing in 90 days? For some of you, it's one million per month. You already know. It's not you I'm talking to. If you have people in your team that are doing 90 days game plan, you're, you're, you cannot be praying to end one million in 90 days. God forbid. When you're that, you cannot be praying the same prayer as your downline. You're, you cannot, me and you cannot be having the same. You cannot have an income goal, and that's my income goal. It, it negates, it doesn't work. So how far have you gone, guys? How far have you gone? Okay, only a few responses. Okay? Now, I'm going to be talking about, my, my main focus today is factors that cause inactivity. I'm going to help me. This is a very short, very, very short topic. It's actually a subtopic. But I just, as I was preparing for today's meeting, I said, look, what are some of the issues that are happening? Because me, I, I try to train based on what's happening in the team, based on what I'm seeing, uh, the code's being generated, people's attitudes, you know, what's happening and all that. That's how, that's how I do my trainings, right? That's how I do my trainings, okay? Based on what is happening in the team and all that. So I realized that one of the major issues that uh, has not been right now is inactivities. Is inactivities. Go to the comments. When I say inactivity, what does that mean? Go to the comments and tell me. Inact what does inactivity mean? When I say inactivity, some can somebody go to the comments and tell me what does it mean? Quickly. Inactivity. What does inactivity mean? Okay. You know me, I like when it's when you respond, I know that we're together. Distraction, knowledge on ice. I do doing nothing. 
not doing income producing activities, not doing anything, not booking, not following up, not getting people attending meetings, not doing income generating activities. Okay? We are all correct. We are all correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want more responses. Okay, we are all correct. And that is one of the issues right now. A lot of people haven't been taking action. And I'm going to be giving us the reasons why. And if, you're, you're, if you fall among this category, people that have not been taking action, by the time I'm done with today's meeting, you will understand why you have not been taking action and how to counter it, how to handle that. Because that is the main thing. Someone said not participating in 90 game plan. That is it. Being passive. Being passive, lack of action, being in holiday mood. Hey, God, I beg you. There is a video that Ambassador Nefo posted where he said, uh, if you have not made up to 10 million naira, you have no business traveling for Christmas. Did we see that video? Say, so if, if you have not made up to 10 million naira, you have no business traveling for Christmas. Did we see that video? How many of us saw that video? And you know what? In the video, they were, they were yabbing him. They were mocking him. Oh, what do you mean by that? How can you say that? See, of these people, people were talking and talking and talking and talking and talking to him, saying all sorts of things. And as far as I'm concerned, eh, yeah, he may look like he was a bit harsh. Oh, yes. But the truth is that he made a lot of sense in that video. It, the video trended online. People were talking about it. Oh, why would he say that? Why would he mention this? Why would he, you know, people were saying a lot of things. But if you, if you actually analyze what he said, what he said actually made a lot of sense. What he said actually made a lot of sense. That's the truth. Now, I don't know about you people, though. I don't know. But me, I know that traveling is expenses. Traveling is billing. Traveling is spending money. So except you have made a lot of money, I don't see why. But right now, you can be in holiday mode, though. It's okay, oh, that's fine. It's okay. But while you are in the holiday mode, while you are in the festive season, you must be making money as, a, as, a, as an entrepreneur. But that may be one of the causes of inactivities this December. So what are some of the factors? The number one factor that causes inactivity is what I hope we are writing. I'm sure we already know, except you're new. Except you're new, but I'm sure those of us who are old know that you're supposed to be, when you're in cell meeting, you're supposed to be writing. Wow, today's number is really poor. And I'm wondering, is it my division that is falling hand? Could it be my division? Could it be division one that is falling hand? Could it be division two? Could it be division three? Which division is 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 falling hand today? I don't know how we're going to confirm that. Because how can this be Monday cell meeting and we are six hundred and what uh, early six hundred? That that's too small. That's too bad. Okay, I want to know which which of the divisions is falling hand. Anyhow, shall I'll figure out a way to a way to find that out. So the number one is what fear of rejection. The number one is fear of rejection. Fear of rejection. This is the number one. This is the number one reason why people are not taking action. This is the reason why people are not inviting. People are not booking. The number one reason. Fear of rejection. What if I invite my friends and nobody joins? Uh, my, my new sign up, she, she did her business launch on Saturday. Saturday morning. And um, it was outside. I was not in Abuja, I was outside Abuja. So I got someone to do the presentation for her. And she was complaining, oh, ah, but only five people came. No, two people came first, then, then four came later, and then three left. That only about the five or six people came for presentation. But five of them came that she invited. That can you imagine? Hey, what will she do? I laughed. I said five. I said, you saw five people. I said, I'm sure she invited about maybe 50 or so, and then 15 said the 15 said they were going to come out of the 15. I said 15 said they will come. And five came, and you are complaining. 
Hey, I said, me on my own. I my first business launch, I invited 79. Only two came. One, then one came with somebody. That's three. You, you have five that came here. You should go and thank your God. Then she started laughing. Rejection. Why can I invite somebody and they will not come? And then they came, none of them paid. What kind of rejection? None of them are paying the money. How will I make some money? Rejection. That's the number one fear. That's the number one fear. So most people say, okay, because of this rejection, I will not do activities. Because uh, Tunde rejected me and Shoma rejected me and Abu called it a scam. Because it's my three best friends have rejected me, I will not do the business again. Ha. Your rent is coming up in February. When your rent comes, will Chioma, how much will Chioma give you? How much will Tunde give you? How much will Abu give you? And a lot of people have stopped. They've packed the bus. They are not doing 90 days game plan. They're not doing 90 days. Why? Because of fear of rejection. Because of that, oh, what will somebody say? But I want to give you, I want to give you good news today. If you're ready for the good news, go to the comments and say I'm ready for the good news. Quickly, go and say I'm ready. If you're ready for the good news, go, go to the comments and say I am ready. Let me give you some good news. The good news is that in every business you will do, you will see rejection there. You're going to face rejection. There's no business you are going to do, no matter how good you are, no matter how prominent you are, that you will not get rejected. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. There's no business. I say if Dan Gote is sharing one million to Nigerians now, some people will not collect. They will say, eh, he wants to come and use our destiny. There is no business you want to do. So it, the earlier you get comfortable with rejection, the better for you. The earlier you get comfortable with it, the better for you. You can't escape it anywhere. There's nothing you want to do. There's no business you want to do. Whether you are selling uh, water, whether you are selling uh, chocolates, whether you are selling bags, whether you are selling cars, whether you are into importation and exportation, whether you are, there's nothing you are doing. Even if you, you, you own a bank, there are 25 banks or so in Nigeria. If no more, no more, some of them are adding and joining. There are about 25 major banks in Nigeria. Even if you own a bank, you will still get rejected. No, why would I put my money in UBA? No, I don't trust UBA. I want to put in Access Bank. Oh, I want to close my access. I want to put it in, 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 in what they call the first bank. There's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Even Tolly Lumelu is facing rejection. Everybody. So the, the sooner you get comfortable with it, the better for you. The better for you. That's number one. So if you have, you for the past one week, nobody has seen presentation through you. And I tell people, I say, look, if me at my small level, if me at my small level, I'm still inviting, I'm still prospecting, I'm still following up, I'm still getting people started, I'm still doing business launch. If I'm still doing all these things, then you cannot afford not to do it. You can't afford. And Mr. Mike was telling us the other day, he was showing, so talk, talking to somebody about business, and the person was saying, oh, all these things, all these things are scam. The person was just... I said, I said, somebody will look at Ambassador Mike with his Benz that is worth how, how, many, how many millions. Look at him from head to toe and reject him. But obviously, he trust him, he finished the person. He said, you said, somebody will look at you now and think that you are, you are educated and you are deceiving people with you. are just ignorant. He finished the guy, eh? <laughs> no time. But my point is that there's no level you get to. See, I'm taking my time to explain this, but because this is the number, number one enemy in our business. No, some of you, before you used to book every weekend, you have 10 people, 20 people that come. And then because your reverend in church told you he doesn't like the business you are doing, you too, you stopped. When you start making one million a month and you take your, your 100K tithe to that reverend, would the reverend say, no, is it that business that I say you should stop? No, I don't want, no, 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 don't pay. Will, will reverend say that? Mm -hmm. They will not. They will not. When it's time for bomber harvest, or what do they call those things, and you are going to go and do, when they are doing donation, they want to build children's church, and you donate to one million, will, your, will the person tell you, no, no, is it that business I say you should not do? No, it won't happen. It will not happen. If they, they say some of them, say, ah, this is our business, are you sure it's halal? My, 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 my imam said he doesn't like it. Start making one million in the business per month. Start making two million. Marry one million, I'm going to give that imam. He will say, is it that business you, I say, you should know that you are, eh, the business is good like this. Are you sure I will not come and join you? There's nobody. See, eh? Somebody can give you spiritual advice, but they have no business giving you business advice. Somebody can give you spiritual advice, 
but they have no business giving you what? Business advice. I'm going to rush the other points because this is the main one. Do I understand that? Somebody, it's not like someone that is, <laughs> it's not everybody that, give, that can give you marriage advice. Oh. It's not everybody that can give you financial advice. It's not everybody. How can a friend of mine, who we are living in the same compound, we are neighbors, we, we live in the same compound. Abby? We are paying the same rent. We are driving the same type of car. Then you are now coming to tell me that about business. What do you know about business? Let this be the last time, my people. That you allow some ignorant person stop you from doing your activities. These two weeks that we have in December, you are going to write out a fresh list and invite them afresh. Invite them again. I beg of you. So you can end this year very well. The 90 days game plan, you won't just spend one million like that in, 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 in the next 90 days. No, you have to make it happen. And I've taught us what to do. The number two one is fear of the unknown. That one is you don't even know what you're afraid of. What if I invite and they don't come? What if the business eh, should crash? What if it doesn't work? What if fear of the unknown? That one is even worse because you don't even know what you're afraid of. I'm, also, no, I'm not scared of rejection, no. But eh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I just don't know how to. I don't want to invite. I don't. Hey. You know what is causing that? That is poverty knocking on your door. Come, 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 open. And you want to open the door. Somebody wants to come and snatch money away from your mouth through this business and you want to allow them. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. What if this happens? Look at the economy. The economy is not stable. The holy book says, if you look at this, at the sky, you will not sow. A farmer that is always looking at the sky, will it rain, will it not rain? That farmer will not sow and the person will be poor. Fear of the unknown. Invite massively. One of my one of my teammates, my active teammates, as I when the person joined the business, the person who I brought him through had told me that Ronke, this person, will, this man will never join this business. He said, this man, whenever people bring networking, you know, this man is the one that used to discourage it. He will never join this business. So he hates network marketing. He hates it. I said, okay. Oh. Guess what? It was that person that reached out to me and said, this thing you are doing, come and tell me about it now. Because everybody wants an opportunity. And once he saw the business in a different light and he understood the business, he joined and is active up till today, three years later. Fear of the unknown. The money that you are looking for is in the work you don't want to do. That one million, some of you, some people will join your business eh, and they become your excess leg in two months. Some people will join your business this December, this 18th, 19th. They will join and they will become your excess leg in one month, two months. Because they, they come with experience. Let me try some people that are difficult to prospect. Hmm? They are difficult to prospect, though, but they are the best when they join, most of them. You know why? Because that energy they used to be negative. That energy they used to be difficult. That energy they used is the energy they used to run the business. I may give an example. I was very difficult. I was very rude. I said, I'll never do all these things. Don't work. All these talking things. I beg, I beg. Oh, look at me today. Almost eight years later. I don't, I, as in, I packed my, I've tied my umbilical cord to the business. Going nowhere. So this, I'm not talking about Jan. You see, you can see I've not started teaching you guys how to set goals for January, but because I'm like, I have two weeks. We have two weeks. Let us mop up 2023. During our affirmations, Amasola always tells us, I emerge and I'm celebrated this 2023. This one is remaining two weeks, so you must emerge. God forbid you end the year, you're not a king's man, or you're not an emerging celebrity. What kind of king's man for six months. Six months, you're still like, you cannot raise two more AP, two more king's men. How about now? Haba, you've had three kingsmen for the past six months. You can't raise two more kingsmen, God forbid. Number three reason why people don't have a, don't have a take action. Number three cause of inactivity is what? Inconsistency. This is number three. Inconsistency. And I'm going to give a very simple explanation to this. Inconsistency. That's another major cause of inactivities. And they have another major cause of people not judging because we tell the truth about, about, about our business. Eh? The difference between those who are making money, those who are not making money, is, is activity. That's the truth. There's no English, it's not skill. The difference between those who are making money, difference between those who are making 100k and those who are making 1 million is activity. Those who are making 1 million are doing more activity than those making 100k. Simple. 
<laughs> but the person that's making 500k and someone that's making 50k is activity. The person making 500k is doing more activity than if there's no two way about it. There's no two ways about it. Inconsistency. You invite today, you don't invite tomorrow. If you attend some meeting on Monday, you attend on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they are looking for you. And that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they are teaching skills that will help your business, but you, you don't attend. They, are, they bring out your, 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 your cell and call is, is, has worked on a new script, a new system that will blow your business, but you are not there. Inconsistency. Inconsistency. I, I, as I was preparing for this, I came up with a simple, simple phrase. I said, reduced action leads to small action, which eventually leads to no action. I'm going to say that again until it sinks in. Reduced action, meaning you used to book 50 before per week. If there's no week that will pass, you don't do 50. You now dropped it to 40, then to 30. So you are reducing your action. Reduced action leads to small action which will eventually lead to no action. Now, you decide where you are here. Some of you are in reduced action. You are reducing. You are, you, are, you, are, you are stepping down. You are stepping down. You are coming down. You are reducing your number of bookings. Before, when you go somewhere, you tell yourself, I, I, mean, I must not sleep until I have two numbers. I must not sleep. What, what did I even go to yesterday? Church. Church. In church yesterday, the person on my left, I collected a number. I think her name is, uh, is he blessing. The person on my right, I collected a number. Her name is Nena. Both left and right, I collected their numbers. Straight up. Two of them. Some of you, you used to yourself, every day I must collect numbers. Every day, every day, every day. No day must pass. I know I collected more, more numbers because there, there are more names. There's Nena, there's blessing, there's another hope. Collected one hope's number. I have to go and check. I collected at least three, four people's numbers. Yes, like I made three, four friends yesterday. Some of you have said every day I must have three new friends, two new friends, four new friends. It now turned to one, then now it's zero. Don't reduce because once you start reducing your activities, once you start, it will lead to smaller activities and then soon you are not doing jack again. Before every, there's no week you don't generate codes. There's no, God forbid. You tell yourself, God forbid a week will pass and not generate codes. I'll not make money in a whole week, God forbid. When people are making money every day, I'll now not make money. No, 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 no. Every day, every day I must make money. That should be your goal. Then you now reduce to every week. Now is every month, once a month, God forbid. Then now, nothing. Reduced action. Then small action. Then now, no action. When last did you sponsor somebody into the business? When last? If we log into your GTC, January, February, we're sponsoring, sponsoring, then it started reducing. When last did somebody join the business through you personally? Or are you waiting for what your downlines do before you can eat? Hey! <laughs> Let's go to number four. Number four is what? Lack of vision. Lack of vision. Come now. Lack of vision. That's number four. What does lack of vision mean? It simply means you are not even, you don't have a goal, you don't have a plan, you don't have what you are looking at, what you are keying into. You don't have what, okay, the, why, am I, why, 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 why am I running the business? What do I want to earn? What's my goal? What's my vision for the business? Is my vision to make 100K? Or my vision to get to a point where I have people under me making one, one millionaire? If you have that vision, eh, you will not stop prospecting. If you have that vision, presentation will not be an issue for you. Follow up will not be an issue. Somebody comes for me and you call them now. It won't be an issue for you. If you have that vision, your teammates calling you to come and do business lunch will not be a burden. You will say, no, it's too far. Uh -uh. It's two hours away. It's too far. What? Lack, a lot of us lack vision. Ambassador, but I don't have vision. Even if you don't have vision for yourself, eh? take the 90 days game plan as your vision. Take the 90 days game plan as what? As your vision. Just carry that one as your vision. No, I want to qualify for Philippine trip. Let that be your vision. Ambassador, I've never gone to Philippines before. I heard that when Ambassador Elijah went to Philippines, he left his medical career. When Ambassador Taiwo went to Philippines, he left his engineering career. Everybody that went, what, what, are they, what did they eat in that? What did they drink? What did, what did they see in that Philippine? I want to go to that Philippine. People went to Philippines and their business exploded. I want to go to that Philippine and see what they saw. I want to go and drink the water that they, I want to see what they saw in that Philippines. That can be your vision. 
I want to go. Okay, immersion is coming up. I want to have 100 people at immersion. That can be your vision. Lack of vision is why people are not taking activity. They are not taking action. Activity. Lack of vision. If your vision is to have 100 people at immersion, still tell you to do follow-up calls. Still tell you to submit AP applications. Nobody will tell you to tell your people to, 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 to become APs. Nobody, nobody will tell you that. You'll be, you'll be creating king's men like water. But you stay one month, two months, three months, no king's man under you. And you want to be an emergency leader. It's a lack of vision. It's a lack of vision, guys. I've painted it. And like I said, if you don't have vision, eh, it's okay. Buy into the vision that is ongoing. But at, at immersion, I want to have 100 king's men at immersion. That's my goal. That can be your vision. I want to qualify for the Philippine trip. I'm, what does it mean? I, I must have registered five people per month. I must make one million naira. Okay, this December one million will not pass me by. That's it. If you don't have your own vision, pick the vision that is already in the team and run with it. And you're good to go. It's not by force to have your own vision. No, pick the one that's already in the team. Run with it. 90 days game plan. That can be your vision. By the time we are ending February, I must have ended a million naira in three months. I must have known now. That can be your vision. A lack of vision is one thing that causes inactivities. That's it. That's it. If my vision is to lose the 10 kg, I want to enter 2024, 10 kg lighter. Be eating chocolates now. Will I? Will I be drinking Coke? I don't need, I don't need anybody to convince me not to, to tell me Coke is... No, 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 no. I already have a vision. And this Coke is not in alignment with my vision, so I'm not drinking Coke. It's simple. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday passes. No presentation. You, you don't talk to anybody about the business. You don't do any three-way call for your teammates. Ha. You don't invite anybody. It's a lack of vision. But today, from this meeting, you have, go to the comments and say, I have a vision. Quickly. Out of all the ones, whether your vision is 90 days game plan, no, or you have a bigger goal for your team, or, or you want to have 100 people, 200 people at immersion, no, whatever your vision, go and say, I have a vision. Because is that like, if you have nothing that you're going to run in towards, that's the end. I, I mean, that's it. So create a vision for yourself. This is what I want to achieve, and I want to achieve it. What's get it? No. People cannot be coming into the same business. They have 15 accounts. I have 15 accounts. They are earning 500K and many 50K. Why? Why? No, I won't, I won't agree. No, 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 no. Number five is what? Inadequate skill sets. Inadequate skill sets. I'm going to run now. In, I want us to finish. Ex Nine on the dots, we are done. Nine on the dots, I've ended the meeting. Or oh, I will let Amasalola Lola draw uh, the remaining, uh, maybe call the remaining APs, call the remaining APs. Inadequate skill sets. Inadequate skill sets. That's number five. Inadequate skill sets. What do I mean by that? One reason why people may be lethargic about calls, lethargic about bookings, lethargic about invitation is what? I don't have enough skills. I don't have enough skills. Inadequate skill set. That, that may be the number one reason. Sorry, number five reason I mean. Oh, what if I, 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 I want to talk to this person. I'm not scared of rejection, but I don't know what to say. How do I say it? How do I invite this person? How do I prospect this person? How do I do follow? Okay, they've attended me. How do I do follow up? How do I get them started right? Inadequate skill sets. When your skill set is low, you are scared of taking action. How, how, what do I say? I, I, don't want, I don't want to go and make a mistake. I don't want this person to, to insult me. I don't want this person to... Oh, I, 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 I'm scared because I don't know what to say. Inadequate skill. That's number five. Inadequate skill set. But I'm going to teach you two ways to handle this one. Two ways. Very simple. What are two simple ways that you can handle inadequate skill sets? What are two simple ways you can handle inadequate skill sets? How do you build your skills? What do you need to do so that you will, no, you will no longer be lethargic, you will no longer be scared of doing activity because you don't know what to do? What do you do? Number one, trainings and personal development. Trainings and personal That's why last week I spoke about going through your SMO checklist. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Combing through your SMO checklist. I said it last week. Trainings and personal development. 
there are some people that they are not scared. Honestly, if I meet Tony Elumelu today, Dangote tomorrow, or Ted Ola, and they ask me about network marketing, I'm not scared in any way, shape, or form. I'm not scared of any question they want to, and it's not even because of my results, it's because of my knowledge. I'm not scared of any question I need, anybody wants to ask me about network marketing. I'm not scared. Even those who are falling heroes, you know who falling, APs know who falling heroes are, APs or Kingsmen. In your Kingsman induction ambassador, I spoke about falling heroes. Even those who are falling heroes, if I meet it, if 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 if, I, if I'm beside uh Hotel Dollar today, he's asking them talking about network marketing, asking about network marketing, and there's a falling hero. The falling hero is those who are disloyal, rebellious to network to our business and they left. And there's a falling hero there. Falling heroes, their goal is to be going around talking bad about our business. Ch -ch 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 -ch. They don't have, they're not, they not successful. Don't talk. Ch -ch 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 -ch. If there's a falling hero beside, and the falling hero is countering me, I'm not even scared because I know how to handle that person. Why? Because of trainings and personal development. Oh, why is it that many people that join network marketing, some of them, a lot of them don't succeed. I'll say, why is it that many people that started banking industry don't succeed? How many bankers are successful today? How many power workers are successful today? How many lecturers have universities? How many people are successful in generally in the world? Only 3%, 5% of the world are successful. Is that not so? Yes. So how can you say network marketing? It's, it's every industry. But guess what? In network marketing, there's no nepotism. Is that not so? You don't need connections. You don't need any special skills. You don't need any godfather. You don't need any government intervention. You can succeed in how many business? Check most of the businesses that you are seeing today. Even Dan Gote's business, he has a lot of government involvement. It, Dan Gote has a lot of government involvement in his success. That's why he's successful today. Most people that are trying to compete with him, they government use government to quench them, quench them, quench them, quench them. But in our business, you don't need any government involvement. There's no nepotism. There's no are you, are you nothing like that. And anybody can succeed. The moment, the moment you are no longer scared of people asking you any question about the business, you're not scared. Pata, pata, you cannot answer. Three-way call. Uh, this thing you asked me, I don't know this one, no. I don't know the year that they were created. I don't know, but let me call my leader. Let me call my leader. But what would that, how, would that, how would that happen if you are going through trainings and business? Come through your SMO checklist again. Come through your SMO checklist again. At least you will learn the basics of prospecting, the basics of invitation, the basics of presentation, the basics of follow-up, the basics that you need. Now, when I say trainings and personal development, your downline should also be involved in trainings and personal development. Your downlines. Meaning that you don't want to be the only educated person in your team. You don't want to. Sometimes I attend, because uh, I, I, what I do um, Wednesday to Friday, uh, especially Wednesday and Thursday, I, I enter people's cell meetings, my cell uncles. I enter, I enter. If you see somebody named Chidima, just know that it's me. I just enter with different names, just enter to see what's going on. And there's sometimes I enter one of my cell uncles' cell meetings and I'm hooked. I cannot even go to another one. I'm listening. Because even me, I'm learning. Even me, why? Because your downlines must be educated. They must be trained. They must go through training. That's, that's why I said, I'm not happy about this number of people in the cell meeting. We should be up to a thousand or more by now. Say a thousand or more by now. Are your people learning what you're learning? Hey, boss, what you're saying now? I wish I wish, I wish, wish my downline was hearing this. Okay, I'll give them the video. No, it's not the same thing as them being here. It's not the same thing as them being here. So let this be the last cell meeting that you don't have all your APs. If all APs are in this meeting, we will not have 1,000. If all APs are here, 1,000 will not come. But a lot of people are not even bothering to check on their APs if they're in the meeting. And as an active partner, cell meeting is compulsory. It's not optional. Trainings, attending cell meetings, attending meetings in the offices. In Abuja here, we have what we call home advantage cell meetings. I'm sorry, home advantage trainings. Once a week. You can't be in Abuja, you're not attending. In Port Harcourt, and all the other offices, they have what they call home advantage trainings. Once a week, they have training for the teammates. How can you be in that city? You're not in. What are you doing that day? You're not, in, you're not attending. So you can meet other people, mingle with them. They will share ideas with you. What works in your, in, your, in the States? You will share ideas. You have issues. Talk about your issues. It will be solved. Trainings. Personal development, going to look for videos that, you, that will enable um, enhance your skills. Network marketing skills. 
Thank God for YouTube. Oh, thank God for YouTube. There are so many videos that are there. Go and consume. Now, don't go and be watching videos on just the mind and all. No, 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 no. Videos that are tailored towards network marketing. Matt Morris, Eric Worry, Randy Gage. People that are talking about network marketing. Whole team box. Network marketing. Jane Leach. Network marketing. And then we have our us in Nigeria here. Ambassador Nefo, Ambassador Kelechi, Ambassador Elijah. Network marketing trainers. Not, not, not uh, what, uh, what is Grant Cordon is saying. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, so it makes sense. So, but mm -mm. you are not into real estate. You are into network marketing. Oops. Press appointment on network marketing. Not to be reading what's not reading us. Mm -mm. Focus on your network marketing skills before you start thinking of other things. Then number two is what? What's the second way to build your skills? And this is actually my favorite. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice. That is the second way to build your skills. By practicing. You see, if you, if you go through all the trainings, if you learn everything, if you go everything you learn, learn, learn this, learn that, learn this, learn this, learn this, learn that, learn, 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 and you are not putting into practice, then there's no need. Then there's, there's no need, there's no point. Practice. So now I'm learning things. I want to go and put it into practice. I'm learning, I want to go and put it into practice. That's how to develop your skills. The more you, there's theory, there's practical. The more you do, the more you know how to do. The more you prospect, the more you know how to prospect. The more you invite, the more you know how to invite. Somebody that has gone to driving school 50 times, and then someone that has gone to driving school only once, but the person has driven 50 times. Please go to the comments and know which person is better. The famous has gone to driving school 50 times, though. they've gone to learn, but they've not yet actually started driving by themselves. But the other person has only gone to driving school once, but they have entered the road 50 times. Who is the better driver? The person that has entered the road 50 times. Because now they know, ah, in driving school, they said, when the light is green, go. But in Nigeria, when the light is green, you cannot go. You have to look left, look right, look front, make sure there is no way right. Pass it, then you go. But the person in only driving school will not know that. So to, how, do, ambassador, uh, uh, invitation, I just tend to invite. Go invite. Invite. The more you invite, the more you... All those scripts that we have in La Buena Vida, it is human beings that came up with that script. We did not sleep and God said, my son, my son, recommendation SMS, this is what you are going to say. Mbano. It's people like you and I that thought about it through what their practice and came up with it. You can come up with a script. You can come up with a script. You can say, Ambassador, I use this script. Oh, I've gotten 50 signups. Bring it. I say, eh? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, let's begin to use it. Practice, practice. It, more invitation, more prospecting, presentation, present. You, by the time you present the first time, the first time may not be good. Second time may not be good. But by the time you do it the third time, fourth time, you, you master your close down skills. You can come up with a fresh close down skill that nobody knows. And it's working. We begin to adopt it. So these are the causes of inaction. And these are the ways to counter it. How do you counter, counter fear of re rejection? Realizing that rejection is everywhere and it will not kill you. And you do what you need to do. How do you counter inconsistency? Be consistent. How do you counter, counter lack of action? Lack of um, vision? Have a vision. How do you counter an inadequate skill set? I've already explained it. And that is it. Okay, now I explained this already last week. I'm not going to say it again, but I'm just going to make a screenshot again because we're going to be getting this objection a lot. But as I wrap up, I want us to, I want you to let me know, do we understand now how to counter inaction and inactivities? Because that is a major problem that we're having this month. Do we understand it now, please? I, 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 would like, I, would like us, I would like to get a response. Can you say, okay, based on what I've learned today, Ambassador, uh, this is the last time I'll, I'll stop inviting. This is the last time I'll do small activities. This is the last time that you call and say, how many people do you invite over the weekend? And I'll say five, four, two, three. No. Based on what you have said, I'm going to go forth and do it. Now I understand. Now I'm more empowered. I understand more. I know where my issues are. I know where my fears are. I know my problems. And I know how to handle it. Because for me, if, if, if not, then I've wasted my time. 
and I'm going to start taking action. It's not just now I know, I'm, I'm going to start taking action. By the time you say, oh, how many people do you invite next weekend? By the time I'm asking on Monday, you say I invited 20, I invited 50, I invited 60. Before I only invited four, before I only invited 10, no, before only, but now I have 50. That's what. I, that's when, when I'll know that this, I did not come and waste my time in this because I prepared for this meeting. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Some of us are not responding. It is well, it is well. So now, as I end the meeting, common objections that you face, like I said, somebody may say, I want to start next day. I already, I already explained this to us, so I'm not going to repeat myself. Just screenshot this thing and keep for me. Some of us have already screenshot it already. Some of us have had it last week, but I want us to, because if you're going to be doing a lot of action, if nobody has told you, I will join next week, next year, then it means you're not inviting. If nobody has told you, oh, I will join next year, it means that you are not doing, you are not prospecting properly. <laughs> because if you are prospecting properly, people will be telling you next year. And this is how to handle them. Let them know. People spend a lot of money in December. Well, why not join now so that next year you can you secure your business and then you can start next year. So you don't you don't end the end, end the year with nothing. Send use that video I shared with us. That's our, my prospecting video for um ending the year financially strong and starting the year in surplus. Use that video, use that video, use that video over and over and over again. Okay, fantastic. Decide to break the Cycle of inactivity today, not tomorrow, today. Decide today to break the cycle of today, 18th of December, 2020. I'm breaking the cycle of inactivity in my business. I'm going to begin to take action, okay? So as I end the meeting today, January 13th, we have what we call our events. We're going to be launching the Diamond Project on the 13th of January, 2024. First of its kind. First of its kind, every four years, by the message of God, we launched something. 2016, we launched On Your Life campaign. And we know how successful that was. It was On Your Life campaign that birthed me. 2020, four years later, they launched what? La Buena Vida project. And we all know La Buena Vida became a global, global phenomenon. It's helped us through the COVID. It was, I mean, huh. La Buena Vida is a global name now. It's not, we're no more, we're no local. And this 2024, by the directing of God and our leader, we are going to be launching the Diamond Project. Hey, my people. Hey, God. On the 13th of January, I already told my cell uncles they have to be around because they, they, don't want to be, they don't want to be missing during that launch. But most importantly, you are going to invite massively. Let me tell you, because it's, the ticket is not, it's not 1,000, it's 5K. So it's not even a small whatever. And I'm going to do something for my own, for wealth creators. I'll discuss that one another time for those who are getting tickets. Guess what? List out your 10 most intelligent and wealthy people. This is for VIPs. Your 10 people who you know these people can do the business. They have the capacity to pay. And they are very smart. They already have business. They are doing their work. They are intelligent. And I want them to join my business. Because that day is going to be, is going to be slaughtered. <laughs> In a good way. It's going, to be, it's going to be something else. I can't even explain it. So list them out and begin to call, invite them one by one, one by one, one by one. The tickets are 5,000 naira. That's um, for this year, early birds. Please ensure you get yours from your various G leaders, okay? From your various division one, you can get from me, division two, get from Ambassador Didi, and division three, get from Ambassador Lola. From your various G leaders, get your tickets, pay for your tickets. 10, if you want to do more than 10, that's fantastic. But make sure you have at least 10 people seated in that meeting. You also, if, if you are in, if you are in close by, you can come. That would be good. I'm doing something for the sell anchors who are coming and all, but that's between me, me and them. So ensure that you are there and your people are there. Ten, write down the list. Write down the list of who are the people. Okay, if they, if they are in Abuja or around Abuja who are extremely extremely intelligent. Those who know, I want them to join. I want them to be part of my CEOs. If I was launching a business today, massive business. If I got, let's say, $1 million funding and I want 10 people to be among my CEOs, who are those people that I want to be there? Okay, so ensure that you invite for them. And then uh, finally, immersion is happening in April. Kingsman, if you are not a Kingsman, hmm, hmm, become a Kingsman this year or if you are not. Become an emerging seller this year. Become a seller this year. So that by next year, you are now gathering, gathering, gathering. Oh, I have 50 Kingsmen. I have 40, I have 100 Kingsmen. I have so that we are working towards the, the immersion, okay? With the immersion tickets, you can also get from your various um, 
G leaders, they're every week they're going to be remitting to me, letting me know how many people have gotten their their immersion. If you're already a Kingsman, you can start paying for your uh immersion ticket. If you're already a, anyway, we, we know those who are Kingsman, so uh, there's no mago mago. If you're already a Kingsman, you can begin to pay for your immersion tickets and all that. But ensure that you have a lot of Kingsmen who are there because it's a three day event. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, we've come to the end of today's meeting. Uh, I'm sure that we have learned a lot. I'm sure that we have impacted and I'm sure that we are breaking the, the, the cycle of inactivity. We are breaking the cycle of not doing what we're supposed to do. And that this month, the next two weeks are going to be the best two weeks that we have ever had so far. I'm very sure of that. Okay. Uh, I was recording the meeting. I couldn't record on YouTube. My YouTube wasn't working, but I was recording it. So I will upload it and I'll send it to us. So you can go over and go. The moment you find yourself, you're not taking action. You know what to do. You're not doing it. You're supposed to invite. You're not inviting. You're supposed to call. You're not calling. You just find yourself. Just go and watch the video. If I just, when you watch the video, just scroll to the part where I started talking about it and watch it to break. Okay? Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, guys. So our APs, uh, our AP ambassador, I don't know if you, if you, if you have the, if you have the AP, if you have the AP, uh, what do you call it, slides? If you can just, I don't know if, if you have the AP slides, you know, you were celebrating APs, but network throughout, and I didn't want us to delay anymore. So if you have the AP slides, you can just come in and just um, wrap up. Amasola, well, please just confirm you can hear me. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. I can hear you. Okay, so just, just you. finish up with the APs. So thank you oh, guys. Okay, thank you very much for okay. Thank you very much for that, boss. Um, massive action, massive action this week. Okay, so for the billionaire eagles, and um, we have Sani Salamu, we have Francis Files. Please let's go to the comment section and congratulate them. I'll do this very fast. Um, John Kinsley Chuku Yere, congratulations to you. Ogonaya Chinyere Olwa, congratulations to you. Rosemary Ezuba, congratulations to those in the Bologna Eagles. Then we have the Team D Eagles, Anele Adako, um, Wopara Deborah, congratulations to you. Then from the Team Opulence, we have Ayani Olufumilayo, congratulations to you. We're proud of you. Then for the Global Pillars, we have Mata Ekoko, Antoni Egesi, and Elizabeth Okafo. Congratulations to all those in the global pillars. Then from the um, Champions Empire team, we have Yaya Abdo, we have um, Bossede Ogumide, we have Moyi Wa Sulema, we have Mustafa Bakar, we have Awal Rabiu, we have Adamu um, Tuka, we have Awal Musa, we have Abdullah Gadu. Please let's congratulate them. Make sure you're not just looking at me. Congratulate them in the comment section. We have um, Abdullah Gadu, we have Alima Megari, we have Nuu Danladi, we have Belo Mohammed, we have Masar Masure, Masura Rabiu, we have Ishaku Ismail, we have Alexander Yagawa, we have Abdul Amir Isa Danzaria um, Karnios, we have Mohammed Abakar Peter Kasina, Bala Mohammed Sulema Kawula, Kawuli. Aisha to Idris and Blessing John. Congratulations to all the latest active partners in the Champions Empire team. We're proud of you. The Mega Bilonia team, we have Rama Ibrahim. Congratulations to you. The Lions team, we have Adama Contar. We have Abakar Contar. We have Samuel Milvey, Samuela Ungobor, Susanna Barnett, James Simbo, um, David. Bangura, congratulations to all the latest active partners, the Lions team. Then from the Sorry Eagles team, we have Edward Mensa, Ane Yao, Electa Awal, um, Absatsu Aminu, Maureen Chuku Juku. Congratulations to you and Emmanuel Bello. Congratulations to all those in the Eagles, Sorry Eagles team. Then from the Eagles team, we have um, Bila Ivy, Jessica Sekita. Sekita. Congratulations to you. The Royal Stars team, we have David Akane. Congratulations to um, David in the Royal Stars. The Royal Stars, we have Mark Franco. All right, so these are all the latest active partners after they were onboarded um, 
last week. So let's go and raise act more active partners and let's take massive action this weekend, this week. Thank you very much, boss, for that training. That was super, super amazing. And we're all going to take action towards massive activities to end this year well. God bless you all. Have a beautiful week ahead. And let's go take massive action. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.